What's up, everybody? Today, we are doing the reviews of yesterday's video, the UI UX cards. We had a bunch of entries. I'm moving through these pretty quick today, just so I can get through all of them. And tomorrow, we'll start it off with yet another challenge of some sort. So be sure to stick around, check out the playlist to watch all the videos up to this point, and let's get started. Okay, so here is our first one. Now, this person did a pretty good job. There's just some small adjustments. And when I do these adjustments, I'm not going to do this in multi steps. They're all just going to be in the next screen. So if I click, you'll see my adjustments right here at the bottom. All right. So if I zoom up, you can kind of see um, what is it? What is it that I adjusted the learn more button? Their previous version did not have enough white space right here around on the inside of it. Also, um, typically, when you have these little headlines, you want them to consume the same, you know, amount of height. Uh, so either make sure that this is all one line, you know, as these are, or these are two lines as well. So if I show you the revision, I just made mine all one line. I would make these icons white, but the person who designed this used PNG based icons, so I couldn't change it. All right, the next one is this right here. I actually like the colors and such, but this is suffering a fate that many of you kind of create when you're using cards too much white space between the cards and it makes it feel kind of thin and sparse sparse I guess you could say um, here's my revision and really I didn't change much except for extending the width of the cards themselves so here's before and here's after all right so here's the next one this one here is pretty good um, I didn't like the white stroke on the upper left it's a gradient based stroke so I removed that and also the Buttons are looking a little bit small, not enough uh, white space on the inside. So here's my adjustments. Again, not big adjustments, but if I go back here, right here, here's the original, and here is the modified version. All right, next one is this one. This one, as you can see, very vibrant. I would say it's a little bit too much uh, in terms of color and, and just gradients everywhere. You know, if you think about it, there's a lot already happening in the hero section. And so, in my opinion, the next section needs to be toned down a little bit um, just to even things out. But here is the uh, adjustment I made. I just adjusted the line height of the type, the descriptive type, and that's it. Next up, real simple approach here. Um, what I'd like to do in this case is when you have, for instance, like little learn more buttons and there's like three of them next to each other, um, I don't like having them being real high contrast because really a learn more button is, is not, you're not trying to be a primary call to action where you really stand out. So toning it down like this kind of makes a lot more sense in my opinion. Next up is this one. Um, again, I, I got rid of the, I'm not sure if you could see it, that there's little um, kind of just like highlights behind these. Um, I think that adds a little bit too much clutter. So I modified that and also toned down the buttons as well. All right, so here's an example of what you really don't want to do um, in two cases. The main case is completely white backgrounds. Um, it really demands a ton of attention and it makes the layout feel blocky. Um, also, it kind of looked like tombstones. I left the tombstones, but you're going to see my revisions. It really just subdues it a lot. So I click on it. There we go. It's much more easier on the eyes as opposed to this. So again, I got rid of this. There's a highlighted outer glow. Got rid of that. Just like that. Okay. Next up is this one. Um, this one is, I, you know, it's okay to make your cards darker than the background they're sitting on, but I personally like to make them lighter to give them kind of like emphasis. So these are the changes I made to this one. Kind of give it some color here. I'm not a fan of having outline buttons with not a lot of white space because it really clutters it, especially with a high contrast white stroke like that. Next up is this one. This is a real unique approach. Um, but there's just too many gradients happening and then this this the actual card background has opacity applied so you can see behind it and there's actually a drop shadow as well. And so what I do is just tone that down a lot. So as you can see, um, the previous version versus this version, you just kind of want to tone things down. This uh, A darker background like this also increases the uh, contrast on the inside. Next up is this one. This one kind of suffering a fate of I uh, these these 
when it comes to shadows, they should not be lighter than the background they're sitting on because shadows don't work that way. They're darker. <laughs> so you want to avoid that thing typically. So here's what I did. I really simplified things. I like the, uh, the, the watermark that we have in the background here, but it kind of gets lost because there's other stuff happening. So when I do it like this and I make these adjustments, it's just a lot better and easier on the eye. Uh, next one right here. So this one, you can see my before and after. Um, this one right here, the original, it suffered to fade as the, uh, the other one where there's just too much white space in between the cards. So I extended out the width of the Cont uh, the actual descriptions right here, and then also changed up some of the coloring on the buttons as well. All right, now this one, again, same fate. We're gonna make that adjustment right here. Things are too close together uh, in terms of vertical white space between the elements, so that's why my cards are taller because things are spaced out, and of course I got rid of the white background because it's way too blocky, and there we go. And here's another one. Now this one is a real interesting, unique sort of layout. However, I'm, I think there's too much happening with three different photograph water watermark based uh, backgrounds. So I didn't get to finish mine because we, there's empty space right here and we could put something, but I just didn't have enough time. But I wanted to show you because kind of how much easier it is to kind of read this section when you simplify a lot more. So when you get rid of all that extra stuff, it becomes about the content, which is important. Again, we have this big empty space here. I, I don't intend for that, but I just didn't have enough time, unfortunately. So if I go back for the before, things kind of get a little bit lost because there's a lot of stuff happening, but now things are a lot more simplified, especially given the complex nature already of the section above it. All right, and here's another one. This one was fun to work with. Um, this is actually a pretty drastic change so let's just check out what i did so i simplified things a lot i took the icons and they were extending out and they were real large and they were had opacity so it makes things a little bit complex because you know opacity when you're laying stuff on top of each other where it's not 100 percent opacity you create complexity because you can see behind it so it creates clutter so i made these more traditional icons um, just white make them small put them on to the left Again, here's the original, and then here is my version between these two. Also scaled things down a little bit. And then up here, got another one. I actually kind of like this for the most part, this one, uh, but I just kind of scaled things down slightly. So you can see the before and after here. All right, and then finally, here's the last one. Now, this one was a real fun one. One of the last entries I received. I really didn't change much about this at all. Um, if you see my revision, that's all I changed. The learn more button, I thought um, having black text didn't make too much sense. So I made the text white and made the background slightly darker than what was here already. And that's about it. So a lot of you did a great job on this challenge. Um, we're going to go ahead and do another design-based challenge starting tomorrow. Same rules. Try to get your design done within three hours or so. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure exactly what yet I'm going to be teaching because I haven't thought of that. But yeah, for sure, tomorrow will be a new challenge video. Make sure to subscribe. Check out designcourse.com. If you really want to learn about UI UX, take, take a look at my 16-hour UI UX course at designcourse.com. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.